New tonight, it was a big turnout in Dartmouth at a meeting about hazardous waste in town. It was discovered last year, and now the town is informing residents about the plan moving forward. Iowa News reporter Sheena Lashuto is live in Dartmouth with more. Sheena. Well, officials actually started this meeting saying by the end of this, you might have more questions than answers. And that's exactly what we saw in the crowd. Several people got up to ask and say, I just want to know what's going on. What are you people trying to cover up? Several residents from the Bliss Corner neighborhood in Dartmouth say the area isn't quite living up to its name. I want you to give these people the excuse what's going on, the PCVs, okay? As Gerard Martin with the Massachusetts Department of Environmental Protection explains, residents were all called to this meeting because last summer a property owner was doing some work and noticed a weird smell, so they called the state. You know, if there's a short-term exposure to this, there could be some uh, risk associated with it. Turns out before the homes were built here, MassDEP says it was likely used as some sort of dumping site. And after some initial tests, the waste in the soil proved to be contaminated and potentially dangerous. And these are a bunch of compounds that are often related to coal ash. So now multiple agencies are working with the state trying to find out what's in the soil, where the contaminated areas are, and who's to blame. While they investigate, residents are being asked not to garden or do any digging. But what's the worst case scenario as far as the impact on the homeowners? Eventually, the town hopes to see this cleaned up, but officials admit for now lots will be left unanswered. We're doing a lot of data gathering now to see if we can identify um, who's responsible and can, we can get to do the cleanup. So now we're told moving forward, the state is going to conduct several tests. We're told this entire process could take years. The state says there should be another public meeting scheduled over the summer. For now, reporting live in Dartmouth, I'm Sheena Lushuto, Eyewitness News.